What's up everybody? It's Jesse coming to you from the side of the cabin I've been building. Today I'm going to talk to you about toilets. I know, exciting, right? And not just any toilets, specifically resource restricted toilets when you might not have access to water or sewer. Uh, what are your options? How can you still go to the bathroom, do your business when you don't have access to water or sewer? Let's jump into it. Okay, I'm standing on the porch of the cabin and as you can see right here in the background, that's the edge of the lake. So I'm a little too close to the lake with this cabin to have a septic system because we don't want that stuff draining down into the lake. I'm also right next to a creek that drains straight into the water. So septic is not an option. The other possibility would be to get a grinder pump and shoot anything that comes out of the cabin up the hill to a catch basin and then have that pumped out. The trouble with that, grinder pumps cost roughly $10,000 to install. We'd have to bore through some rock to get up the hill just a really costly and involved deal. So what's the solution? Let me show you. Walking into the bathroom at the cabin, you will notice this is not a typical toilet. Ignore the water line. That was for when I thought I'd have a regular water toilet. But this is called the Incinolet Carefree Model and it is an incinerating toilet. It literally sets yours on fire. All right, to use the toilet, you're gonna need to lift lid and place one of these wax paper bowl liners down into the toilet these are you know you can buy these in a pack of a hundred I believe so you do your business and when you're done so let's toss in some sticks there you know high fiber diet you're gonna look down here and press this foot pedal and it will open the clamps and drop whatever's there into the burn chamber <laughs> Close up, it's gone. Then close the lid. So this is all sealed up in a burn chamber. We're gonna push this button. You can hear the toilet start up. That's the fan. Then the heating element will kick on, go up to a thousand degrees and incinerate anything in that burn chamber. So after some preliminary testing, what are my thoughts on the Incinolet? I think it's a great solution for my specific need uh, where I have some access to water but no access to sewer. This is a great solution because it's waterless, it's odorless, it's very convenient. I'm very happy with it. Now, what are the drawbacks? Number one, right out the gate, is cost. A brand new Incinolet costs around $2,700, which is nuts. That's a lot of money. Fortunately, I was able to find one on Facebook Marketplace for $300. After a couple hundred dollars worth of parts, a new fan, a new uh, heating element, it works just like a new. So, you might have to do some searching or just be ready to fork out some cash. Second piece is got a pretty long flush cycle. It's 75 to 90 minutes per flush. So you hit that button, the fan is gonna run continuously for 75 to 90 minutes. The heating element will heat to 1000 degrees, cut off, back to 1000 degrees, cut off, it's gonna turn everything inside to ash. But that fan will run for 75 minutes. Now, you can still go, another person could go to the bathroom while the flush cycle is running. You just hit the button again, sets a fresh 75 minute clock, and then it'll cut off. The last piece is it is a bit of a power hungry unit. So uh, you want a dedicated power source. It could work on a solar setup, but you need a huge battery bank. I know some people who have put them in vans, um, which is crazy to me, uh, good for them, but it would drain a battery really quickly. It needs a lot of power, especially if you're going to run multiple flushes and be using it as your regular toilet. So just bear that in mind. Overall, I think it's a wonderful unit. Now, a couple small pieces of advice. If you're accustomed to running an exhaust fan while you're going to the bathroom, uh, you shouldn't use an exhaust fan with the Incinolet because it also has an exhaust fan and they can compete. One can burn the other out and that's not ideal. Or it can pull smoke, ash, and smell back into the house. The second thing, and I learned this the hard way, is since this toilet vents outside, there can be odor where the vent comes out. So if you're going to be, theoretically, building a deck directly outside of where the toilet is exhausting, maybe don't plan that deck building time right after you hit the flush button because it does smell like burning poop. Just something to think about.